Welcome to Franchise Empires. From one to two to four to five, you begin hiring, either hiring directly for or uh, paying, let's say, agencies uh, for specific departments uh, uh, that you will no longer oversee directly, meaning let's just use marketing as an example. And, and a good resource for this question is actually podcast season one uh, with uh, Gavin uh Gavin, I apologize if you're listening to this. I'm forgetting your last name. Uh, awesome guy. He's a franchisee in Ireland of F45. But I, I believe I asked him this exact question is because uh, he built six F45 locations in Ireland pretty quickly. And you know, I asked him. I was like, "Hey, like, what were the biggest differences from going from one to two, and then two to you know, two to six? So I think he went from two to six in you know a, a pretty quick amount of time, like a year or a year and a half, maybe." Uh, and that his answer, which I, uh, is pretty much what I found with most operators, is, you know, he is overseeing the marketing obviously for location one, and if they're doing Facebook campaigns, you know, he's running that, and it, it's him and maybe one other employee kind of helping him with that. Uh, but as you grow, right now, you let's say you have three F forty five gyms under your belt, open and operating and cash flowing, uh, you know, it's triple the marketing work, uh, but now you have the cash flow where you don't necessarily, you know. As, as those locations grow, the responsibilities of the operator grows and the task list and to-do list is, is a lot bigger. So uh, Gavin found it very helpful where he could now afford an agency. And, you know, most agencies probably cost five, five K a month or, you know, so some retainer, it, it completely varies based on uh, the amount of spend, ad spend that they're going to be doing. And a lot of other factors, but uh, let's just pretend that it's it's a smaller operation. You only have to pay four to five k a month retainer for this uh, marketing agency, and they're going to do the creative and run all the campaigns for you uh, to drive customers to your stores uh, or to get email list signups, uh, which then you know you you sell, send them some special offer. Uh, you know, maybe Gavin's making ninety k for his first F forty five location. You know, paying over. Over five percent of well, I shouldn't do. Uh, I have a rule: no public math. Um, breaking it here, but let's just pretend like five k is about seven percent of uh, the ninety k in profit that he's making on location number one. You know that is not uh, a justifiable expense. That's too much of marketing because we're not even accounting for the marketing fee that the franchisor is probably charging them, and you know any other uh, uh, marketing costs that may may have already been built into the business. So uh, at three locations, though. Now all of a sudden you're dedicating that that fee towards ninety thousand times three, hopefully, and you just have a lot more economics to support uh, driving driving that uh, cost. And so that that's just one example, right? With marketing for your locations, and you can apply that to other departments, right? Uh, maybe you hire uh, a recruiting firm to to help you with uh, getting employees across your locations versus you doing all the interviews, setting up all the outreach. Uh, on Glassdoor or any of these other, you know, sites uh, where you're posting jobs. So generally, that's the shift: is you really have to start outsourcing or hiring uh, for those broader roles that become more meaningful, right? As you go from just one business location to all of a sudden a growing organization. Uh, great question there too.